Conservationists are trying to stop Nestle from pumping more water from a well in rural Michigan. Nestle got a permit last month to increase production from the well in Everett, Michigan. The company says it is environmentally sustainable, but residents claim pumping more water will further damage the area's resources. Nestle's water brands, including Poland Spring, Ice Mountain, and Arrowhead, brought in $4.5 billion in sales last year. Adriana Diaz went to Michigan to visit the Nestle well and factory. It's like an ocean of water bottles. Absolutely. This Nestle plant in northwest Michigan spits out water at a dizzying pace. Bottles are filled, labeled, and packed in mere minutes. So this is our new 80,000 square foot expansion. So last year we, we invested about $37 million. In addition to expanding the plant, Nestle is planning to pump more water from this rural well. But the quiet here belies the controversy. You can live without oil and you can live without gold, but you can't live without water. Peggy Case and John McLean are with Michigan Citizens for Water Conservation. In January, the group sent a letter to state regulators blaming Nestle for significant loss of surface waters and aquatic life in two creeks near the well. The levels are down, almost impossible to find trout in what used to be two cold water trout streams. I had water rationing in Vietnam. I don't like being without water. In 2016, Nestle applied for a permit to pump an additional 150 gallons per minute at White Pine Springs. The state received more than 80,000 comments from citizens about the plan. Only 57 supported it. Nestle's request failed the state's initial environmental impact test, but after a lengthy review, it received approval last month. We have three sources in Michigan for ice mountain water. Arlene Anderson Vincent is a natural resource manager at Nestle. What we see is, is a very, very stable water levels over a 17 year period of record. Which tells you that this is sustainable and we're not negatively impacting the environment. Nestle contractors demonstrated how they monitor water levels. 33.53. Well, they think that their little dipsticks and their little monitors somehow tell a story. They don't. So do you think they're lying? Nestle is a corporation with a PR plan. They have their story. We have ours. Why do you believe that it won't adversely affect the environment if you increase the amount that you pump? Nestle Waters employs a group of natural resource managers as myself. Our job is to ensure that the withdrawal is sustainable. On a muddy walk. This is like quicksand. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anderson Vincent showed us where the groundwater in question emerges into springs. Do you have a sense of what level would be unsustainable? Is it 1,000 gallons per minute? Um, I, I, I don't. We looked at, you know, 500, 600, 700 gallons a minute and really felt it was, you know, 400 gallons was extremely protective of, of the ecosystem here. So that's a conservative number for you? It's a conservative number. People are so angry. Rebecca Warren is a Michigan state senator. It feels like a company's profits are being put ahead of the needs of the citizens of Michigan and uh, a resource that, you know, if you grew up in this area, people love our Great Lakes. Nestle Waters says they've invested about $270 million in Michigan, creating 765 jobs and more than $160 million in economic activity. So do you think all of the backlash has been unfair? People are very passionate about water, and so are we, and we, we respect that passion. Nestle does not own this water. This water belongs to the people and the ecosystem. For CBS This Morning, Adriana Diaz, Stanwood, Michigan. Well, I understand why that's a huge controversy. Yes. Since the issues have not been fixed in Flint. No, and I like what John McLean said. I don't want to be with that water, and nobody does. Mm -hmm. so hopefully they'll work that out.